Um, what I wanted to talk to you about was John Forte. Uh huh. You know, I saw that you tweeted out that you guys hooked up for the first time since he yeah, got out of yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah. So what was that like? I mean, it was really deep, you know, because, you know, me and Forte, we share our own relationship, mm -hmm. you know? And, um, and we, you know, we just decided to just let the past be the past and try to really focus on the present and, uh, and just see how we can still be part of each other's lives because we men, you know, mm -hmm. and just get mature. And, you know, as kids, you know, we all have egos. We make mistakes and, 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 and whatever, including myself. So um, it was just good hooking back up. He came over. I was at Chung King. You know, I heard a lot of the work that he was working on. Mm -hmm. um, he heard some of the work that uh, I was working on. You know, we talked about everything from Haiti, you know, um, you know, he schooled me on, on, on his years in the pen. Right. And a uh, fascinating story on, you know, how he got into books, um, how he studied theory, taught himself how to play guitar, mm -hmm. um, then started teaching in the prison. Right. Um, you know. What was the issues that you guys had before? Was it, because I know when he, he was up here, you know, this was yeah. his first radio interview he did yeah, yeah. when he actually got out of prison. Yeah. And, you know, he said that people didn't realize he was having the problems that he was having, the financial difficulties, you know, before he went to jail and that had him in a situation where he did, you know, what he did. Yeah. So for the two of you, like, what was the ego issue? I mean, you got to understand, like, you know, to Forte's point, you see what I'm saying? Like, here's the Fuji's, you know, that's cashing in like trillions, you know right. what I'm saying, at the time. Like, and then here's Forte, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it, to, to, to get money, it takes time. You dig what I'm saying? And depending on how much money you want at a certain time, you dig? So it's like, if, if I want fast money, I could have went a quicker route, you mm -hmm. dig? And maybe something could have happened to me i'm not innocent i mean forte knows that you know what i'm saying and we we all from the same circle like i tell people when you hear like refugees like fuji like you know i said make no mistake like because you don't hear me talk about the guns the drugs and all of that like i'm from the grimiest area and grew up with the grunt like, the illest thing was when i worked with ti he said the illest clef the illest thing clef do is hide the fact that he's a real nigga you mm -hmm. know like and um and the reality of it is so with Forte we always had real conversations you know what I'm saying and we had a heart to heart you know what I'm saying and I was like I ain't really reach out because I was upset because mm -hmm. I told you what was gonna happen to you you know what right. I'm saying I said we had that conversation and uh and I told you you know what I'm saying and it was like you gotta understand before Forte went in his last show was with me at Carnegie Hall wow you know what I mean so we had to send a letter to the judge and then the judge had to let him do that performance you dig mm -hmm. that was his last performance and understand with me like you know there's a reason why I'm still here and there's a karma about me despite what people say like I've never effed anyone around and even at the times working with Forte even with cannabis like even me and cannabis talk like cause when you reason with a man you know and you start to get older you look back and say you know it was really tough love you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying to you and forte never asked nobody for no handouts always wanted to do everything himself you know what i'm saying and he's a real stand-up dude for me you know it was sort of like i always uh was like okay this is what you should do next so this is you know and and he had his own vision i was like okay you know you gotta go with your vision but i'm here right. i remember when he was gonna do his album we was in paris having tea chilling you know he was rocking the flip flops before Jay Z, right? <laughs> and um, and uh, and uh, and he was like, "Yo, you know, Clef, I want to try this myself." And I was like, "I'm with you, whatever you need, you know." Right. 